Hey everyone, it's Pink Eye the Glitcher. The other day, I had the pleasure of being able to go to Anime Expo, which was an absolutely amazing experience. And I captured some video while I was down there, and so hopefully you guys will enjoy it, and you'll get to see a little bit of what Anime Expo was like. Most of the stuff I didn't film, so you're really not getting the whole experience here, but it was really fun. I never, never before have I seen so many people in one place all celebrating anime. But that's not the only reason that I was there to celebrate anime. I was also there with an organization called Jesus Otaku. Maybe some of you have heard of it, but it's basically a cosplay group that goes to anime conventions and tells people about the love of Jesus. Because otaku people, Jesus came for you too. So yes, big thank you to Jesus Otaku for giving me an excuse to go down to Anime Expo and experience what this is really like because I probably would never have done it on my own. And now that I've tried it, I am definitely hooked. I, mean, I, w I definitely want to do it next year, and maybe I'll take you guys on the ride too. So um, besides that, I also want to thank my uh, three mentors, people who helped me uh, make this experience possible. I would like to thank Amy, my friend, and Lynn, who also who gave me tips on how to make my costumes. And I would also like to thank JWO Designs for uh, teaching me what a cosplay is about and how to have fun doing it. So anyways, let's get into the clips, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here in my garage, just got this new Lamborghini here. Fun to drive around the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Pink of the Glitcher, and today I'm at Anime Expo. So, take a look. There's lots of people here. Uh, never seen so many people in all my life. I didn't even know there were so many people on the planet. But anyways, uh, check out this booth right here. Uh, it says, you are, I, I can't hold the camera straight, but it says, you are loved just as you are. And uh, yeah, so the organization that I'm here with today is called Jesus Otaku, and we uh, are a Christian uh, cosplaying group where we uh, go to anime conventions and things like that, and we basically spread the gospel because uh, otaku people need the gospel too. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to go around in a little while, and we're going to take a look and maybe meet some people, take some selfies, and then we will uh, hand out some stuff. Uh, we got some free art books here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's, without further ado, take a look at the show. Nagomi's ear cleaning VR. You can clean someone's ear in virtual reality. How cool is that? We're all living in the future. Ear cleaning is pretty important. All right, we're here at the Evic booth. Got some cool airsoft guns and stuff like that. Okay, we've got another really cool booth right here. It's called Game Church City. And I think it's also a part of uh, the same industry. But, yeah, they've got some free books, and you know how I like free books. Uh, it's just like what the billionaire Warren Buffett says. The more you learn, the more you earn. Now, maybe you've seen my TEDx talk where I talk about how I read a book a day. And I do this not to show off, because again, it's about the knowledge. Got some swords here too. Swords and guns. Pretty cool. <laughs> One, two.
got this uh, Arthur's right here. So we've got some people hard at work. That's uh, what I probably would join them, but unfortunately, uh, we don't have much time left. Uh, this place is going to close soon. I got here too late. Uh, but it's okay, because this is only the first day, and we can come back tomorrow, and we can get a lot more stuff done. So, yeah. So, we're back. Another day. Um, this is day two. And, uh, yeah. Back on the uh, show floor. Let's see what we can see this time. Huh. Got a booth that's selling nothing. Okay, so it's day three now, and uh, as you can see, it's a lot less crowded, but uh, there's one last thing that we have to check out, and that is the entertainment hall. Uh, and you can see on the sign right there what kind of things we're going to see in there, and uh, let's just go ahead and go in, see what we can see. Play games 24 hours for the kids, huh? Well, I'll tell you uh, one story that happened to me. I once played video games for around 10 hours straight, that's my record, and I felt so awful afterwards. I never wanted to do that again, but I mean, it's for the children though. What can I do?
We've got about an hour and a half left before the. Uh, Can I take a picture of you? Okay. Yeah, sure. Sorry about that. Some people just wanted a picture. But, anyways, um, yeah, so we've got about an hour and a half left before the event closes because it's July 4th and, uh, you know, there's a holiday. People have got to go home, spend time with their family. Uh, so, we've got about an hour and a half left. And there's still a couple things that I want to check out. So, let's go. Okay, so we're back at the Artist Hall. Um, uh, extremely long lines as usual. Uh, very slow moving traffic. But we're gonna just see what we can find. And um, I'll show you what I get after we're out of here. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those clips of a tad bit of what Anime Expo was like. I didn't capture the whole thing. There was a lot that I didn't film, but I definitely had a fun time. If you've ever gone, it's a great experience. And if you have not gone, well, same thing it's a great experience so hopefully you guys get got a little bit of a taste of what that's like and uh finally i would just like to uh close with a small reminder of what our message is uh for jesus otaku it's that you are loved as you are because you see there are so many people who think oh jesus doesn't love me you know i I need to clean up my life first before he can love me or I've done too many bad things or you know He came for somebody else not for someone like me who's just like plain and stuff like that, but you know what? That's not the case as you as you will read in this art book if you've gotten one it says Our identity is under attack each day by a world that is constantly telling us who we are or who we should be If you are feeling the burden of others people's opinions be comforted by the fact that the world is wrong God is the only one who knows truly who you are, and you can declare it. Um, this isn't about religion. Religion is man's pursuit of God, while the Bible is the story of God's pursuit of you. Though this only barely scratches the surface, we hope that it inspires you to find the courage and freedom to be yourself. You are loved just as you are. And that's a message that I think is very important. So, so I just want to remind you of that today, if you've either forgotten or never heard that message before. It's something that's very important, and I think it has the ability to change your life. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to what I have to say. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video is going to be another gameplay with subscribers, and that was going to be really fun. So we had a great time, and I think you're going to enjoy that video. So. As always, stay awkward, my friends. <laughs> Anime! Alright, so finally I just want to show you some of the stuff that I got at Anime Expo. So we got this uh, Science of Creature Design book. Well, I'll go ahead and show you what's inside of here. I got this at the Copic, uh, Copic Markers booth. So you can see we have some uh, interesting illustrations in there on animal anatomy and stuff like that. Uh, we also have... Uh, like I showed you before, the art book that we were handing out at Jesus Otaku. So there's that. We also have this, Jesus for the Win. Uh, it was from that Game Church City thing that we stopped by earlier in the video. We also have a postcard from the Jesus Otaku booth, pretty cool. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul Mask that they were handing out, I'm not sure exactly how to put this on, but still pretty sick. Uh, free sticker. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to put that. Uh, here's another free sticker that I got from the Hatsune Miku Racing booth. Um, it looks like a catalog though, so I'm probably not going to put that anywhere. That can probably just stay right there, to be honest. But anyways, we also got a Magic the Gathering card with, uh, that was illustrated by Noah Bradley. He's one of my favorite artists, so there, there we go. Um, we have a Screwed Up for Life and Proud of It uh, keychain type thing with Nano on it from My Ordinary Life, which is probably my favorite anime. Uh, the, that, that was the one that got me and most of my friends into anime so we also have a Nagomi's ear cleaning VR handout type thing uh, and a tiny uh, Toru Honda button right there pretty cool and oh yeah a keychain from the booth that I was working with so now we have some really cool stuff right here we have a print from an artist Nigel Sade you can see that right there and it's the painting is called just until I can afford to be happy. And you can see there's this guy right here and he has a, uh, if it'll focus, hold on a sec. So he has a smiley face painted onto this gas mask right there and a business suit on, of course. And there's a bunch of silhouettes of people all looking at him. And it's basically about going to a job that you hate every day for money and uh, saying to yourself, 
I'm just doing this just until I can afford to be happy. You know, that's not a situation that you want to find yourself in. So that was pretty cool. That's probably one of my favorite uh, prints that I got here. We also have a pr another print of Toro Honda from Fruits Basket, which uh, this is for one of my friends. So hopefully they enjoy that. This was really hard to find. Many people, not, not many people were selling prints from that show. So we also have another one for my friend. This is uh, some, uh, I don't know, cute creatures. Thought, thought they would like that. We also have this cool print right here. It's a very thick poster. And yeah, it's a pilot inside of a futuristic uh, air vehicle type thing. I got this for five bucks because it was the last day and they were closing down, so that was a pretty good deal. I'm gonna put that up somewhere. We also have a print of Naruto and his family and his girlfriend right there. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cute, so I picked that up. And we also have, this is another one of my favorites. Um, it's kind of hard to pick up because it's kind of big, but we have a girl with four arms for some reason. I didn't even notice that until after I picked it up. A friend of mine pointed it out to me. And she's also got a, a candle that's actually human being. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, the, it's, it's not from an anime. This is an original thing that the artist made where it's uh, basically a story about a girl who lives inside of a basement and the only way that she can see the outside world is through the books that she reads. And you can see that in her eyes there's like some flowers and stuff so she's seeing what flowers look like for the first time in her whole life and she's pretty surprised about it. So yeah, that's kind of like that. I kind of like to read, you guys know. So, and then finally we have a brush your teeth poster with a transformer on it. Uh, this is for another one of my friends. I think they're gonna find this pretty hilarious. It's a little bit of an inside joke between us. But yeah, that's basically all I got. And yeah. <laughs>